Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my simple cottage life. So here's what I've been working on. Ta da! I still have the roof to put on it. Let me show you. Here's one side of it, nice and solid. And this is a little plastic, uh, I sure can't even think what it is. Got a little hole in here. I don't know why, but it's got one. Nothing goes there. It's just there. This is the front door down here, and you can see it's got these little flaps down here so that they can come in and out right down here. And on this side is their escape door. If something comes in at the bottom and they need to get out, they come up their stair, their steps, or actually up the next floor. And here's the same kind of little thing. Now this is a little kind of a perch thing. I guess they could lay on it. I don't know why they would, but still, that's what it is. And this came with a, some packed in some white styrofoam that just flaked all over the place. I mean, I'm telling you, it's all over everything in here. I've got tools everywhere. I got to get this cleaned up. But here's the roof for their porch, and I have to put the roof on. As you can see, I have it done. It is insulated. Here's the front. So it's, um, you know, asphalt. I got the floors in it, bottom floor, top floor. Here's the inside. Here's where they can just come right up to the second floor and go right out this little door if they need to. Now I'm going to, I've got it caulked inside, outside, every single seam I have caulked because I don't want any air coming through it. If I'm going to go to all the trouble of doing all this insulation, I don't want any little seams left undone. So they can come up here. And they, this, this is nice and sturdy, and I'm going to varnish this as soon as my caulk dries. I know, Miss Key, but that, you can't get in it. I am so sorry. I don't think you could fit in the front door, my dear. I don't think you could. No, you could not fit in the front door. You need to move. Okay, here is the bottom. I'm not going to be able to see inside down there. I know it. But anyway, it's a nice roomy area down there. I don't have many cats this holes. I think it said three to four, and I happen to have five out there. So they're going to be tight if they get in here. And if they are friendly with one another in order to share or space. So here it is. I've got to put the roof on it. Then I have to get Brian to come and help me get it out the door and get it around to the patio. And then I've got to find a nice shady spot for it. I want to get some pavers and put underneath it. I don't want it sitting on any dirt or weeds or any of that. So I want it on some pavers, but I want it in the shade. And I think I know exactly where I'm going to put it. I just need to move my blueberry bush. I'm going to put that in a pot because I need this in the corner of the house. Um, it's, it's cool there. It gets a breeze there. And in the winter time, it's shielded on two sides by the house. And I think that would be an ideal spot for this. So here's what it looks like on the inside with all its insulation. And I have... 
I have pads that go in it. Yeah, let me show you that. See these? Look, see this fits that that floor perfectly. And here's from the bottom floor. Isn't that nice? They, if they came with this, and I have some of those warming, self-warming pads I was sent. Oh, Miss Key, you're thinking about it. Anyway, there it is, y'all. It took me a while to do it, and I rigged this bottom leg. See the bottom leg on the right? That's rigged. I used a a knob, a, a furniture pull knob, and it was round. I painted it black, and I used some black tape, uh, electrical tape. Can't even tell. How about that? So there it is. Next you'll see it in the garden. Thanks for watching. Mrs. Key invites you to subscribe to her mama's channel. Thank you.